Hello and welcome to the Great Oaks YouTube channel. My name is Ms. Kosla and I am a science teacher at the Fairmount Heights Middle School campus. Today I'm going to be sharing some resources that science teachers can use in order to provide a lab experience online. So these are online experiences or simulations that are able to replace the normal labs that we would be doing in school. This is also helpful for, educate, um, for parents as well as uh, scholars because parents can use this to enrich their scholars learning and scholars can use this to get kind of a hands-on virtual experience in order to enrich what they're learning online. So without further ado, the first website that we're using is Gizmos. So Gizmos is a really great website. It has so many math and science simulations. If you go to browse Gizmos, you can see that there's free Gizmos and not free Gizmos. With the free Gizmos, there's a pretty good amount. So if we see the tab, they have adding and subtracting integers. So there's math labs, as well as science labs, such as heat absorption, moles, multiplying decimals, honeybee hive. They range in grade level and they pretty much cater for every standard. If you have the paid version, you can also search gizmos by academic standard, which is really helpful. So if I go to New Jersey and science and I go to fifth grade, I can choose a standard. So for example, if I was doing five PS11, I would go to phase changes and I could actually launch a gizmo that's directly correlated with that standard. So this is a huge benefit to using gizmos, but as I said, again, it is a paid um, website. The next website that you can use is FET. FET is a well-known simulation website. They have simulations for physics, chemistry, math, earth science, and biology. And these simulations are actually free. So say I go to biology over here, I can see a bunch of different simulations that I could use in my classroom. Another great website that you can use is Molecular Workbench. So it's through the Concord Consortium. They have embedded assessments that you can use while you're going through the different labs. And it's also customizable. So teachers, if you want to customize the labs, maybe you don't like one feature, you can actually customize it on this website. This is meant for older students. For example, like high school students, they have electrostatics, lip lipids and carbs, tree of life, proteins and DNA. So this is really meant for a little bit of an older crowd, but this is a very, very helpful website as well. Another website is knowitall.org. They have a bunch of the NASA science simulations. So, of course, this is going to be more geared towards astrology and physics. Um, they have the atmosphere, circuits. They have, uh, let's see, how sound travels, hurricane basics. This is used for students mostly ages K through 8. Um, and they're really, really helpful, really interactive, and great resource online. The last resource that I wanted to share was BrainPop. Great Oaks teachers have access to Brain Pop, and we do have a subscription, but if you are not a Great Oaks teacher, um, you can also get a subscription to uh, Brain Pop right now because they're offering free trials for people while we're in this kind of online learning setting. So if you go, as you can see, they have Brain Pop videos or interactive simulations for basically all subjects. But if you go to science, you can go down, say I want to do a activity on energy. There's so many different topics here that I could do. So say I want to do an activity on nuclear energy. I can show my students a movie. I can show them a quiz. I can show them how to make a map, related reading, vocabulary. There's an infinite amount of resources here to use for your kids. And another website that I love to use is vocabulary.com. Vocabulary.com is also really a great resource that um, Great Oak scholars and teachers have access to. You can look at videos uh, from pretty much any subject. I use this a lot in my classroom. So say I was teaching life sciences, I could look at the Six Kingdoms, photosynthesis, adaptation, and kids can watch videos and create different raps or songs related to the different topics. So Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna put the links in the description below. If you have any more resources, feel free to comment them. And yeah, thank you for your time and enjoy your time with online learning.